we get to my craft project today, I have some very exciting news, and it can't even wait until after the craft project. That's how awesome it is. I am happy to announce that the rest of this week will be videos of the HGTV Handmade Mystery Bots Challenge. A few weeks ago, we sent all of the handmade girls a box of craft supplies, and they had to use those supplies to make something out of it. And then we all got together in person to reveal all of the crafts to each other. So stay tuned all week long for the unboxing, the crafting project, and then finally, the final reveal. But before we get to that, I have a fun new DIY for you, so let's check that out now. Hi guys, so today I have a really fun craft project for you, and it is making colorful toy animal magnets. For this project, you'll need a handful of small toy animals. I got these at my local craft store, but you can also find them at a toy store or a dollar store. You're also going to need a saw. I still have this one from when I took a woodworking class in college, and you can get one at any hardware store. The first step is to cut the animals in half. This isn't a quick process, each animal took me 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how much rubber there was to get through. Be really careful not to cut yourself, and give your hands a break every few minutes so that they don't cramp up. And then, once you've gotten most of the way through the animal, you can just twist the two halves apart. Now grab some sandpaper to sand down the rough end of the animal. I found that the easiest way to do this is to just lay the sandpaper down on the table, and rub the animal on it like an eraser until the end is nice and smooth. Now this step is optional, but I think it looks way better if you paint them fun colors. You can use either spray paint or acrylic paint for this. Spray paint is faster, but you can mix a larger variety of colors with acrylic paint, so it's just up to you. Either way, do two or three coats to make sure you have a nice even color. Now get some magnets. I decided to use these neodymium magnets that I used in my magnetic canvas tutorial from a few weeks ago, because they're really small, but they're also really strong. So just use a glue like E6000 to attach a magnet to the back of each animal. Let that dry overnight, and now you have some fun, colorful animal magnets to bring some whimsy to your fridge. If you want to keep it classy, you can just use the animal heads. Or to add some humor, you can also display the animals' um, rear ends. Any way that you decide to display them, I just think they look so awesome. So if you want another version of this craft that uses the same toy animals, Anne actually made a video where she turned them into keychains. So let me know in the comments what animals would you want to make into magnets and what color would you paint them. I actually love how those came out, and I think I might go cut up all the rest of my toy animals too, just so I can have even more of them. But for now, it is time for the weekly recap. This week was all Father's Day crafts, and we started off the week with Meg showing us how to make a custom mug for Dad. And voila! You created a custom-made mug for Dad for under five bucks. The glory of this gift is it can be customized however Dad would love it most. On Tuesday, Marianne dug up her Father's Day video from last year, where she showed us how to make these really cool scratch-off Father's Day cards. Place the scratch-off decal over the prize on the card. All Dad needs is a coin to scratch off his prize, and then you're ready to celebrate Father's Day in style. Julia always has really simple, but really great ideas, and her Father's Day craft was no exception. This is the front of the bow tie, and this is the back. This part will get hidden under the collar of the shirt so that the bow tie is the only thing that shows. And that's all there is to it. This DIY was so fun that I couldn't make just one. On Throwback Thursday, we threw it back to Greetings from DIY, where we learned how to make this really cool textural photo card for an awesome dad. Here we go. This is what it looks like with the belt all the way around right. it. Right. And we've used just a little Remember ribbon to tie that. We'll open that up. Okay, get ready. And here we have my kids. They're saying, I love you. And in each envelope, we have a little gift card and a note from them. And Dad can just place that right on his desk to enjoy all the year through. And on Friday, Anne impressed us yet again with her great Father's Day craft idea. Lastly, 
finally, it's time to add a side of deliciousness. You can bake your own cookies or bake cookies that you know that your dad would like. Here I have some yummy donuts, and he can enjoy the donuts, drink some milk, and read the story all at the same time. So that was the week on HGTV Handmade. Make sure you stay tuned all week long for the mystery box challenge. I've been the one editing them, and they're so fun. I cannot wait for you guys to see them. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all again right here next week. Bye.